not good enough. I am a constant failure. After all these years, I still don't have a job. My family considers me a burden. Oh, I've loved her for a long time, yet I don't understand how she could leave me. Maybe because I'm useless? Oh yes, I'm useless to everyone and to myself. I'm unable to repay my debt because it is far too large. All of these issues will be resolved if I simply leave this planet and leave everything I have behind. When things don't go as planned, many of us have or have had similar sentiments at some point in our lives. I completely recognize that life treats everyone differently and that some people may have more anxieties than others. We might believe that if I just give up, my family will have a better life. But what if we all selected this path to self-destruction? Do you believe that will be the end of it? According to World Health Organization polls, one person commits suicide every 40 seconds on this planet. We may only be concerned about this if we lose someone dear to us or if a celebrity passes away. You leaving this planet may be an escape for you alone. What about the relatives and friends you'll be leaving behind? They will have a difficult time for a long time. They will have to deal with a variety of people's judgmental looks and blaming remarks. People care. You might not believe it, but they do. Your decisions have an impact on more than just you. They have an impact on everyone. Don't take your own life. There is still so much to live for. If you give up, nothing will improve. You may be young or old, but we can all do different things each day. Give yourself a bit extra breathing room. We all don't have the same emotions every day. Some days will be extremely joyful or other days less cheerful or some days really unhappy and so on. Today, you may believe that this is the end and that you should kill yourself to get out of this horrible world. But if you do, let me tell you, you will lose out on the lovely tomorrow that awaits you with even more joy. Today's feelings will not be the same as tomorrow's or next week's. Suicide is equated to murder in the Bible and that is exactly what it is, self-murder. Only God has the authority to determine when and how a person should die. My times are in your hands. We should say like the psalmist. Suicide is exceedingly serious and terrible in God's eyes. And if anyone watching this is thinking about it, I encourage you to reconsider and seek treatment for whatever your situation might be. Whether you believe it or not, God loves you and doesn't want you to die. However, Satan tests and you must not listen to him. Instead, put your faith and hope in Christ and his love for you. If you know him, you will never be alone, since nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Turn to him today and by faith, ask Christ to come into your life. No matter how hard life has gotten, always remember that with God there is hope. God is the giver of this life. We only have one life on this planet, so make the most of it. Life on earth may be brief, but life in eternity is unquestionably long. Make sure you make the right choice. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Project K.O.G. God bless you.